Welcome to Around Town Sports with Time Warner Cable. I'm your host, Melissa. If you love watching a college or professional hockey game like I do, you might question how the players work their way up from a youth league to the big time. I'm here in Evendale at Sports Plus, home of the Queen City Steam, and we are here to answer that question. Queen City Steam is part of the North America Three Hockey League, which is a third-tier Junior A league. There are 16 teams playing in three divisions in the NA3HL. It's a seven-month season, which gives the players extra time to get noticed by college or professional recruiters. Queen City Hockey Association, the Queen City Steam, is a youth hockey organization for players six years old up to 20 years old. Uh, if they've never learned to play, we teach them how to play hockey, and then we put them on teams, whether it be recreational or travel, high-end, uh, and we travel all around the country and play teams from all over the country, Michigan, um, Pittsburgh, you name it, we, we play anybody, anywhere, anytime. Joining us now is the head coach of Queen City Steam, Lee Lansdowne. Lee, can you tell us a little bit about the mission of the NA3HL and of the Queen City Steam? Yeah, the NA3HL is a Tier 3 league. So there's Tier 1, which is a USHL program, um, Tier 2, which is the North American League, and we're the affiliate of that Tier 2 league. So it's to move guys up to that Tier 2 league and to get guys to play college and get just get the exposure. We're trying to get players to learn what it takes to play at a higher level. Um, this program, the guys will practice four times a week. Um, the work they have to put in on and off the ice, being away from home for the first time. It's definitely something where the kids will come in and grow as a person, not just a hockey player. And so it's not just about the hockey, it's about a lifestyle too. And it's a good teaching tool for these kids, even if they don't go on with hockey. So. What type of commitment do these players put into this? Um, I mean, it's it's a big commitment for sure. Um, you know, a lot of them are from out of town, so that you know they're uprooting their lives and coming here to, to, to play and try and progress themselves. And the the NA3HL league that we're in is is very much a, um, a preparatory league. Um, so we're trying to to get these guys ready to move up and, and play at a higher level. Um, Typically, we like to say, you know, we'll, we'll keep them here for two years. Um, if they haven't moved on in two years, either they haven't worked hard enough or we haven't, you know, we haven't done our job as coaches. What can you say about the Queen City Steam? Uh, the Queen City Steam, it's, it's, a, it's a good team to start out on if you're joining the, uh, the NA3. It's a good uh, developmental team. It's enjoyable, but it's, it also pushes you, it pushes your boundaries, it makes you a better, better player. For the most part, guys will start really young, either their, their parents played or you know their parents are big fans of the game so they get them started young. Um, my, my little brother could almost skate before he could walk because so, my brother and my older brother and I played. So it's, um, it's definitely a, a sport that you're very committed to at a very young age and then you just grow up, grow up doing it. I started playing hockey when I was about five or six. Uh, getting to Cincinnati, one of our players, Devin Fricasi, that I played with last year in Wisconsin was drafted here. And uh, I was interested in the league, so he said you should come and try out, and I did, and just kind of didn't look back, so. Are you with a host family? I am with the host family, yeah. Can yeah, you we, tell me a little bit about that and what it means to you? Oh, it means a lot. They're really great, you know, they, they help just kind of take care of us and make you feel at home, and my family's been really awesome about supporting and coming to the games and really getting behind our team, so. We have uh, kids that come for our junior program from all around the country. As far as away as Colorado, Utah, South Carolina, Florida, um, and, and they need somewhere to stay and live, obviously. And so we try to put them with uh, local families who are also have an interest in, in hockey. And, and, and it's really more um, something for the mom, to be honest with you. Where a mom's little baby is going away for the first time, and she's nervous, so we pair them up with good quality parents, and they're their surrogate families. And, it really turns into lifelong friendships. I did it myself for several years, and I still contact the young man on his birthday and still have conversations with his parents every year, and we went and spent vacation with him last year. So it's really some lifelong uh, friendships that develop, and really good, especially for the moms whose young men are going away and moving away from home for the very first time. How does somebody become a host family? 
they contact myself or Stacy Dick or Lee and down the coach. And uh, you can email us. And you have to go through a background check. But other than that, you just have to show the desire and the need and the uh, ability to have a young man to come into your home and and uh, understand his problems and his issues and just be a good surrogate parent. What can you tell me about the coaches and staff? Uh, it's the the coaches. It's definitely it's a good mix of guys. Uh, we have we have a defensive coach called Porte who he he very much pushes he pushes the players he pushes them to be what they can be and we have our, our forward coach Peter Weisgerber who he's much more of he's more fun he's more laid back he's easy to get along with Lee our head coach he's definitely a good X's and O's guys you know we have a lot of good systems that we run do you feel that the Queen City team can help you achieve your goal um, my goal my end goal I'd like to play play college hockey um, um, move up any way I can and Queen City is definitely a good place to be for that because they'll they'll push you, they'll they'll get you where you need to be, they'll they'll turn you into the hockey player you need to be. Um, so I feel like I'm definitely in a good spot. Have you seen quite a few guys move on that you're very proud of? Yeah, um, we had a kid here last year for a little while. He's a goalie. He's playing at the North American Tier Two level now. He's doing very well. Um, we had a kid that was in Springfield in the North American League. He was. He's done well for himself. It's always good to see a guy move on. For us as a coaching staff, we would rather see us move on five to 10 kids a year to a higher level, to college, to wherever it may be, then winning a championship is always nice, but our main goal is to move guys on. If you'd like to support the Queen City Steam, you can check out their website, queencitysteam.com. You know, I can't wait to tell everybody I knew you guys back when. High five. Kind of a big deal. Thanks for joining us for Around Town Sports. See you next time.